So Chris, that gets to the idea that there are lots of costs here. There's costs when it comes to security, everything else we've talked about, infrastructure, skilling, energy. Who's responsible for this? I know you have some great partnerships, but in general for small businesses and the economy, should we be looking at public-private partnerships to expand digital access to businesses? Absolutely. I think um, no one individual or one group can fund what needs to get done in order to support these businesses. Uh, the, the businesses we work with, the borrowers we work with are resilient. And so they will ask for money and get that money. But in addition to that, we are trying to provide additional uh, help and support through uh, this business education that we mentioned. And uh, as, I, as I said before, we have our lenders who come in and put in uh, dollars to support loans. And then on top of that, we have partners who come in to support those loans with uh, education and, and other services. So I, I mentioned the Visa Foundation, MasterCard Foundation, PayPal, and others. Uh, but there are systemic things that we can do to improve the overall system while these loans are being facilitated. So one example of what we're doing at Kiva is we're trying to create a digital identity system where you can use a fingerprint to open a bank account. Uh, and that would allow, make it much easier for people to open a bank account. Uh, obviously, if you have a business, that's, that's important. Uh, and it would give people access to a credit history that follows them. Um, that's a core technology that we're trying to implement in Honduras. And that's being supported by uh, the Skoll Foundation, RippleWorks, a few others. So uh, there are lots of uh, people in philanthropy, foundations and others who are interested in attacking fundamental problems in order to make uh, systemic changes. And so that's been another resource for us in, in helping small businesses.